Hi, this is Wes Bashworth from Aragon Archie Fun. Uh, I'm just going to do a video on adjusting the regulator on your Artemis M11 MK2. So, the tools we're going to need today is a little flathead screwdriver, and the number four metric um, hex wrench, and a number three. Okay, so the first two things to do is to take out these two bolts, uh, number four bolt and number three bolt, so we'll do that. Alright, so I've taken them out. Watch out for the uh, the little uh, lock washers on there if they're loose at all. Make sure you get those out, otherwise they'll fall when you take the stock off. So just put your thumb on, on the trigger guard and push up and your stock will come off. Alright, so this gun has already been degassed, but um, the next step you're going to want to do is just put your little flathead screwdriver in and then... And, I'll loosen this bolt and the arrow will start shooting out. Once you're done, you can uh, tighten it back up again. So tighten that back up. Uh, all right, and then uh, the last bolt we're going to have to loosen is the trigger guard here, number three. So I'll just loosen that a bit. And then uh, then we'll take the uh, brass, brass muzzle brake, unscrew that, and then just slide your... Actually, you don't even have to do that, sorry. I was thinking about taking the breech off, but yeah, we should be actually be good to go now. We should be able to just unloosen this uh, tube, and it's you want it to come apart here because uh, the the uh, regulator is hiding just inside here. It's it's actually screwed into this plenum here. So if the plenum starts coming off with it, you'll just have to uh, if you can't get this stuff start coming, then just take take unscrew the plenum with the the tube, and then you'll have to put the uh, Plenum in a, in a vise with some cloth or something, and then get that started on screwing afterwards. All right, so I'm going to do that now. All right, so I've got the uh, threads off. It'll seem like you're going forever and ever, but uh, when you feel, uh, just give it a tug every once in a while to see if you're off the threads, and then you can just pull it right off. So I'm just going to pop that off now can with one hand. Oh, I guess I'll have to do it with two. Okay, so I've got the tube off and you can see the regulator here now. Uh, you can see the flat head uh, adjuster in the front end there. And um, unfortunately the stock um, regulator on these doesn't have markings for, for pressure. So um, good idea to, to check your pressure before you uh, start this process. But um, these guns, they come around 140 bar uh, from the factory, something like that. So, so if you, uh, yeah, if you want to keep track of where you were originally, be a good idea to take a black or a red sharpie and just put a mark right here on one side, and uh, maybe color that end of this uh, flathead the same color, just so you know uh, where the factory setting was, and you can return it back to that if you want later. Okay, so um, if you're wanting to increase the pressure in your regulator, you're going to want to turn it um, counterclockwise. So, but so this is like a quarter turn that I've just turned it now. If um, the very max that you're going to have to turn it, it would be a half a turn to turn it back like that, so that the opposite side is pointing where it was originally. And uh, that max is somewhere around 180 bar that I've found is, is as much as it's going to go up. So if you turn it back half that much then it should be somewhere somewhere around 160 bar there and uh, back to where it was 140 bar and if you want to put less pressure then you can turn it the other way no more than half a turn should be the max down that it will go uh, somewhere between 80 and 100 bar if you want to have a little less power and uh, you're going to have to adjust your hammer um, accordingly. So if you max the pressure out, you're going to have to turn the uh, the hammer adjuster at the back here. Right now, this one is at the minimum power. So if we, uh, even with the setting at 140 bar that it came from the factory, that is going to have a very low power setting. Uh, you're probably only going to be at like 600 feet per second or something with... Uh, 25 cal anyway so um, if you turn your pressure up then you've got to turn this in uh, clockwise so 
So the regulator to get more pressure is counterclockwise and the hammer spring to get more power is clockwise. So it's the opposite. So you can crank this thing in. Uh, the more pressure you have in the regulator, the more you're going to have to turn this in to take advantage of that power. And the less pressure you have in the regulator, the more you're going to want to turn this out. Otherwise, you're going to be just wasting air. So, yeah. So that's that. Okay. Uh, I also do have an upgrade offer. You can buy a brass uh, power adjuster for the back here. And it's got a thumb screw adjustment. Um, it does require you uh, cutting out the back end of your stock a bit just to be able to take advantage of that hand, uh, hand uh, screw. So just be aware of that if you buy that. All right. And that's about it. Um, this pressure gauge here is your regulator pressure. So don't use that when you're trying to fill the gun or you'll be overfilling your gun. Uh, the pressure in the tube is on the front gauge. So after you adjust your regulator, you can put the tube back on and fill it up and uh, you can see right away what, what changes have been made on your, on your uh, pressure. So yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not accessible externally like some guns, but uh, it's not that bad. It's not too hard to get out and this regulator is screwed in here. So if, if you ever had to take it out and change it, if you wanted to upgrade it to a humor and alter os regulator, then you can just unscrew this and screw the new one in and uh, but yeah for the most part these are pretty good regulators so okay thanks for watching bye